Okay, ladies and gents, you'll be pleased to know that I'm giving the UK a day off and I'm going to pick on a lunatic story from here in the colonies. Misery loves company and you'll be pleased to know that the judges, activists and lawyers that run the United States are just as brain dead as the people doing it in the UK. So, wonderful that, innit? At least you've got some company on the road to ruin. This is a fantastic story in that it mirrors... 100,000 stories across the UK where little girls were tortured and folded up like a deck chair above a greasy, foul-smelling kebab shop by a trio of illegal... <laughs> um, we'll just call them squatters. I don't like to use any of the buzzwords. We'll just call them um, travelling squatters from a, from a distant land. And obviously because Justice isn't blind and instead of wearing a blindfold, Lady Justice across the pond wears a, a pussy hat and a Love Trump's hair t-shirt. Um, obviously the judge took one look at these three upstanding gentlemen and thought, I'd better utilize the same justice system that you lads are used to. And therefore the 14 year old girl basically deserved it because she was showing her ankles off. <laughs> Seems reasonable. <laughs> Okay, all jokes aside, I can only assume that's what was going through the judge's head because to me, when a 14 year old gets raped, it's a lot worse than a regular rape, which should already put you away for 20 years because you're dealing with a child. But apparently in this case, yeah, the judge had the same conservative values as Abu Hamza and thought, well, if she went out wearing a relatively short skirt, she was basically asking for it, lads. Two men accused of raping a 14-year-old girl who was in and out of consciousness and another man charged with videotaping were sentenced Wednesday to 48 months of probation. What's the argument? She was in and out of consciousness, so it, yeah, she only remembers half of it. So we'll give them half a sentence. That's fair as well, isn't it? Judge Douglas Hogan sentenced each to between 1 and 15 years in prison, but suspended the sentences in lieu of probation. Probation for raping a child. Think of that. Although now, now, I, come, now I do think of it, I do think they've still got the UK beat, haven't they? Because at least they got probation. In the UK, all three of them would be working in your school library. <laughs> It's also funny that it says that one of them was videotaping it because look at the pictures. <laughs> Minus the one in the middle. They both look like they're getting filmed and, and they're not expecting it, are they? Especially this one here. I think I made that face when my granny caught me wanking when I was 14. <laughs> From left to right, it's Dodine Leclerc, Nasu Alabasis Alabasis, <laughs> and uh, Richard Gisera. Biden's press secretary will be out talking about this, won't she? With a cowboy hat on. They're as American as apple pie, them boys. Juby, Juby, Juby. Yeah, that's a fine American name. <laughs> Talking like fog on leg on. I say, boy, I say, boy, that weren't there, no sex crime. According to police, the 14 year old victim sneaked out of a sleepover to meet the men who took her to multiple parties where she got drunk. Two of them raped her while she was in and out of consciousness, and the third recorded it. Hogan said a substantial amount of time had passed because of the pandemic, so you might as well just let them off. Might as well let them off. Time heals all wounds. Yeah, try and tell that to the girl who's now got PTSD, a severe limp, and a fanny like a burst mattress. Yeah, so you gotta love that. You got, and that should cheer you up if you're in the UK because at least misery loves company and at least now you know that everything has gone completely round the twist over here in the, in the colonies as well. So brilliant, we've got activist lawyers ripping up the rule book whenever it suits them. The simple thing to say about it is, I do understand where this comes from. Because nobody would argue that in the 60s and the 70s, the justice system was unfair. It was. But in attempting to rectify the situation, the pendulum has swung, has swung back. And now we've got this type of shit happening. If that was three blokes who looked like me, and the bummed a 14 year old till her head fell off, they wouldn't be looking at a year on probation. You know it, and I know it. Dare I suggest we go back to the ideals espoused by our forebears and maybe just maybe try sentencing people as if you actually were blind just putting it out there you know i know that's visionary thinking because nobody's ever said justice should be blind before I, I came up with that it was me so i know it's quite hard to get your head around these these brand new ideas but if you just try we can build a better world all right do your best That'll have to be it for today. I'm a busy, busy boot neck. Let me know what you think in the comments as always, and I will see you all very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.